Swinburne University of Technology. You're about to watch a fizzcast on buoyancy. <clears throat> here's a uh, beaker, and here's some liquid, and I've got an awaited one molecule there. Just a point. What can you tell me about the pressure exerted on any point on that liquid? The pressure all directions is the same. That's not immediately obvious, but if you imagine, for example, that weren't true, and you had a pressure, say, um, going up, the scraping with the others, then this molecule will be flying at the top like this. And if it's true for that molecule, it'll be true for this one too. And so what you'd have is a beaker full of liquid put on the bench, and all the liquid just shoots down at the top. It's not going to happen. Not in this universe. Now, because the pressure in all directions at a point is the same, it doesn't mean to say the pressure at all points in the liquid is the same. I'm going to draw another beaker here, and I'm going to lower in a cube. Right. It doesn't have to be a cube, it's my diagram, and it's a pretty ropey looking cube anyway. The pressure here and the pressure are not the same. The pressure here is greater than the pressure there, and the difference in pressure is given by this equation where H is that distance multiplied by the density of the liquid multiplied by G. I'm going to look at the force on a small area, and this equation, well, comes from the definition of pressure. That's about delta A. Oh, there's delta A there. Small area. Um, for every molecule that comes in like that, there's another one going like this. Quite clearly, there's no vertical force imparted to that, but there is a result in that direction. There's another one there, and there we can run opposite. At the same height. Equal and opposite force is cancelled, give zero result in force. What it means then is that there's no movement um, called the Newton's first law. Stationary body remains stationary. However, when we come to the top and the bottom, it's slightly different. Here, the pressure, yeah, the pressure. This pressure, that one, is greater than that one because it's at a greater depth. The area is the same, so what it means is there's a force upwards that's greater than a force downwards. That results in a resultant force upwards equal to that. That's the point of force. Pure and simple. It arises from the fact that pressure increases with depth. Now, there's a point that's been raised with me uh, a few times, not often, but since I've got your attention, I'm going, to, I'm going to raise it with you. What happens if you don't have that nice sort of nice sweet shape there, that little cube, nice symmetric shape, and you have an odd looking body like this? There you go. Now you've got pressure going up, pressure going up, pressure going up, pressure going down, pressure going down, pressure going down, pressure going down. Now, because of the great depth, the average pressure going up is greater than the average pressure going down. However, the area over which the greater the, 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 this pressure going up is being applied is smaller. Have a look. Have a more careful look. See? That area is smaller than that area. So we've got a big upward pressure multiplied by a small area and a small downward pressure multiplied by a big area. Supposing the big upward pressure multiplied by the small area, giving you the upward force, was smaller than the small downward pressure multiplied by the big area. Well, if that were the case, there wouldn't, there wouldn't be a, a bite force, there'd be a, a force dragging it down. Is that possible? Well, the answer is no. We shouldn't be looking at the, the area of the surface, we should be looking at the cross-section area, the area that's at right angles to the pressure. And that's the same whether you look from top to bottom or bottom to top. If you took an odd thing like, that, say, a teacup and shone a projection of it with a lamp onto a wall from left to right and then did it right to left, you see exactly the same shape. And that's the area that you need. And it's the same for the force going downwards Outputs. This has been a Swingburn production.